All right, today we are going to learn how to update a VX520 on First Data Omaha for TLS 1.2 protocol changes. Um, important note is to make sure that you do not have an open batch on your machine before you go ahead and do this download. If you have an open batch, chances are you will lose your transactions and funding. So you want to push the far left purple key for more, go to settlement, and if you see empty batch, you're good to go. You have nothing to worry about. Otherwise, you can go through and close out the batch per your normal processes. Um, the very first thing that we are going to do is get into the setup menu. And by doing that, you're going to press F2 and F4 simultaneously. You know you are good when you get this screen that asks you for the password. You're going to press 1, alpha, alpha, 6, 6, 8, 3, 1, and enter. It's going to take a moment to load. And then it's going to present you with the screen. We're going to go ahead and use the number keys to navigate through. So we want to do download first. So we're going to push number two. We're going to press enter for group ID one because that is correct. We're going to enter in the same password again. It is one alpha alpha six six eight three one and enter. We're going to select two for multi app. We're going to select one for full download. We want to go ahead and hit two for continue. And it's going to go ahead and delete the files that are currently on your machine. Um, because this is only required for internet processing merchants at this time, we're going to go ahead and go down to the TCP IP by pressing the more key and pressing the number three to select that option. We're going to go ahead and press enter on download. Then we are going to press the purple key that may have tip indicated for Ethernet to select that and press the green enter key. And then we're going to press enter again on download. And it's going to give us this lovely little URL here. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea, this is exactly what you should see on your screen. If you do not see this vcprod.firstdata.com, you do not have the correct URL. Um, and you want to go ahead and hit edit. You're going to go ahead and select the uh, URL string and press enter. In order to clear this out, you would go ahead and press the yellow key for the purposes of keeping this video a little shorter. I'm just going to show you how to enter in COM. Every other letter would be exactly the same. You notice every key has a letter indicated for it. So what we are going to do is we are going to press, we're going to find C on the number two and press it. It is the third letter, so we're going to press alpha three times. For O, it is on the number six. It's also the third letter indicated, so we're going to push six and alpha three times. Again, M is on six, so we're going to push six and alpha once to get the M in place. Now, you would do this for the entire URL that you are provided if it is different from this, um, and go ahead and press enter to save. The very next thing is the port. It is very important that this port be 443. If you needed to, you could go in and edit. Again, the clear key will clear it out. Once you are done, you press enter to save. SSL would always be true for this download. If it were not saying true, you would go ahead and press edit, and you would use these purple keys to scroll through to select the true and press enter. Block size should always be 1000. If you needed to edit this, you would again press edit, yellow to clear out if you needed to change, and enter to save your changes. Heap size should also be 4096. Again, you can always edit, use the yellow clear, and go ahead and change and press enter to save. If these values are already correct, you can just press enter to bypass them. This is the field that you will absolutely have to change and clear out. This is the terminal ID. This will be provided to you by your processor, and it will be specific to your account and your terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and key in the TID that I have here to show you this particular download. And now that I am done, I'm just verifying that it is correct. You do want to make sure you are entering the correct numbers that were provided to you and press enter. Your application name should already be star MA if you had a previous file in here. If not, you can press edit, clear it out, press enter to save your changes. Resumable downloads should also be false. It should not need an edit, but if it does, you can always hit the edit and change that. I'm going to press enter to bypass. 
what we have here is just, it is giving us an overview of all of the settings that we have put into the machine for this particular download. You can either push the purple key to review or you can press the green enter key to go through them as well. Once you get to the bottom and press enter, it will go ahead and tell you that it is now downloading, please wait. These lines all represent 10% of the download. As each line receives a little asterisk, that means 10% is done. Because we are doing this over the internet, it will go fairly quickly. And once this is done, it will automatically reboot the machine and install the files itself. We are not done at this stage. There is one final update that must be completed in order for EMV chip cards to process on this new file build. All right, it says the download is complete. It is rebooting the machine automatically. And you are gonna see a lot of different screens flash. It's gonna have a lot of things going through. This is the files that we just download. They are being unzipped, unpacked, and installed on your machine. Um, this would be the equivalent of installing anything on your um, computer and having to do a reboot. So it's just verifying everything is accurate. And this could take a minute or two, depending. When you see this screen, you know that everything is completed. The very next prompts are going to be just some quick checks on the system to verify everything installed correctly. Um, and then it is going to ask us to do a CAPK update, which is used for chip and EMV cards. So it is telling us EMV key update, no keys present download. You do want to hit yes. So you push the little F1 key and it will go ahead and process the updates. These are special keys used for the encryption and unencryption of the chip cards that you insert into the machine. Once this is done, it automatically goes to the comm server and soft pay. It may say credit or debit instead of soft pay. Go ahead and push the F3 key to select that and you are back at your main screen. One thing we do want to ensure is that you have everything set up. We want you to perform a test sale. So go ahead and press F2. Type in one for just a penny sale and press enter. Verify the amount with F1. And then go ahead and key in test card number. I'm going to use one that we have here. You can also use a live card if you so chose to get an approval response. This one will generate a decline response. Press enter, expiration dates. You can use this card if you like. I am going to go ahead and bypass these options just because it is a test card that is going to decline. If this were a real sale, you would never bypass these options. All right. This is an accurate response. It means that I have downloaded the machine correctly. It is dialing out and generating authorizations. And from this point on, you are good to go on TLS 1.2 for transactions.